guys, it's 360 Shop Blog and Roll, and today I want to show you a recipe I'm making for um, today in California. We are eating together this evening with family, and what I want to show you is a really yummy, delicious recipe called Chicken Tetrazzini. And here are the ingredients. It actually takes quite a few things, so if you don't, you may not have all these things in your kitchen, but you might. But it's two parts. You've got some dry things that you'll end up putting all together with noodles, and you'll also do some wet ingredients that are things like a canned cup of uh, canned uh, cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken, um, some heavy whipping cream, sour cream, and a few other things. So in this side, you'll see I've got actually all of my wet stuff together. This is a, um, a combination of a, a tub of sour cream, the 16 ounce tub you get at Walmart, two cans, like I said, the cream of mushroom soup and chicken, some heavy whipping cream, about a cup of heavy whipping cream, and some I've added at the last thing here, I've wanted lots of extra flavor, so I've added about a teaspoon each of onion powder, minced onion, and garlic powder. Those are all ready at the top, ready to go. And then here in my dry assortment of ingredients, I've got two bags of cheese. I'm not going to use all of it, but I've got a, a blended cheese with some mozzarella, a uh, little bit of um, Colby Jack, Monterey, and then a pure mozzarella um, grouping. And then in here, I've got some chicken that's already been boiled, cut, and diced, pimentos, a can and a half, about a fourth a cup of parsley and chopped olives, um, and some onions. And I've actually already sauteed the onions. I like those to have a little bit of softness, and so um, they have a nice little flavor together. So what you're going to do is you've actually, the thing with chicken tetrazzini, it's a great casserole. It can be pre-made. You can put it in the freezer after you've combined all the ingredients together, and then you can also bake it. Usually 350, 375, depends on how fast you want it, but all the ingredients are mostly cooked. You just need to make sure that they've melted together and combined. So what I'm doing is I'm going to add a little bit of my noodles. I've already boiled my angel hair noodles, and this is what they look like. Angel hair noodles are already boiled. They are going to go right in, and I've actually cleaned my hands, I promise. So I'm going to dump about half of these in here to kind of see where we are. Because what you don't want is you won't want to add too many noodles. Ooh, this is quite hot. Too many noodles and not enough of the um, sort of wet ingredients to make sure it's balanced. So um, you'll pardon me. I'm actually using my hand to kind of show you both because I don't have a good spot to throw the camera and kind of walk you through all this. So all this is added together. I'm going to leave a portion of this to alone. And then what I'm going to do, and you're going to want to make sure you have a pan ready. This is what I'm using. I think it's a 9 by 13 deep glass pan, and that just needs to be able to be sprayed down just because some of these ingredients get a little bit tight or hard to, um, hard to scrub off from the glass. So I've already pre-baked my oven, throwing this in together. We're going to stir it all up. I'm going to put this camera actually now, since I've kind of gotten you through this stage, I'm going to put this on um, a stand and let you guys watch me mix it all together, and that's it. Super easy very tasty. It's one of those dishes that I keep coming back to because it's just so flavorful. See you guys in a second.